Hey yo, what's up YouTube? BH28Racing here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today guys, we're doing another diecast review. And today it is on Alex Bowman's 2021 Ally Camaro, well, Ally Chevrolet Camaro ZL11 LE. My God, I was not expecting to butcher that. But yeah, my driver, my new driver since Johnson retired, but, yeah, nice. I'm still a fan of the 48, blah, blah, blah. Kind of botching this intro. Oh, well. So let's go over the packaging. This is Alex Bowman, Henrik Motorsports, HS Forward Up, NASCAR, Action Racing Collectibles, Action Racing Collectibles, still the choice of champions. Alex Bowman, number 48 Ally, number 2021 Camaro ZL1. They're missing the one I'll It's just a limited edition, but there's the number. The top and the bottom. So yeah, uh, without any further ado, we're going to get straight into it. And the nice thing about the diecast this year, I will say before we get started, is that the packaging this year for all the diecasts, they're color coordinated this year. Well, a lot of them are color coordinated. So literally all the Hendrick ones, they're all like where the purple is on the box for Alex Bowman, literally it's the that car's colors which is very nice so bowman's is purple chase's is blue byron's is a darker blue larson's i don't know what his is his almost looks black almost it's like a blackish green blue i don't know what it is it's just very dark but anyway guys let's get this thing out of the package and get straight into the review and now we have it out of its packaging and oh my god, guys, this thing is a beauty. This Ally paint scheme this year looks, well, looked amazing. The best Ally scheme, I think, personally, for the 48 car from all the years that they've been in the team since 2019. But yeah, first time that the 48 is not driven by Jimmy Johnson, it's driven by Alex Bowman. And yeah. And also, before we get started, I'd like to say Happy New Year, everybody. I think this is New Year. I don't know when this is coming out. Um, hold on. So this is coming out on New Year's Eve. So Happy New Year, everybody. This is the last video of 2021. And going into 2022, it's going to be a gr an amazing year with racing and everything in general. And probably not a whole lot of good stuff coming from my channel. I don't really have a lot of big things planned, but yeah. I'll talk more about that in uh, towards the end of the video. But let's get straight into the diecast review, shall we? So let's start out with the front end of the diecast. We have 48 Chevrolet Z01 Hendrick Motorsports, and there's a decal that should that finger. There's a decal that should be next to the Hendrick Motorsports logo, but it's not there. I guess that just wasn't on in time for when it got released. And on the hood, we have... Oh my god, camera focus. And on the hood, we have Ally, the Bowman on the name rail. Down the left side, we have Sunoco, Goodyear, the Goodyear Eagles, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car, Alex Bowman on the name post, 48, Ally, do it right, Microsoft, HendrickCars.com, uh, let's see if I can even get a good view of this. Not phone, fucking do shit right. And sorry for cursing. Um, oh my god, this ca my camera is not doing it justice, but it's Exalta. I'm trying to get around here to see. I know that's Exalta, Freightliner. Freightliner's in there, so no, it's okay, it's Exalta. Acornis, Freightliner, Mac Tools, Siemens, and Cincinnati. Okay, I got it. Oh my god, that took forever to figure out. Sorry about that. And on the back of the die cast, ooh, on the back of the die cast, we have Vaveline Ally 48, Camaro ZL11 Ali, Ally on the deck lid, 48 and Ally do it right on the hood, Bowman on the back windshield. And the right side is the same as the left. <sighs> so, overall with this paint scheme, guys, well, this die cast, 
I, it's a very, very beautiful diecast, even though it is slightly inaccurate with the fade on the side here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, if you are an Alex Bowman fan or, you know, Hendrick Motorsports fan or just a casual NASCAR fan, I highly recommend getting this diecast. Even though Bowman did not have the best of seasons, it was his personal best season with having four wins and oop shake the table but, um personally it was his best season from in my opinion um four wins in the year even though some of them i think at least with pocono he shouldn't have won personally even though i'm happy bowman won as a bowman fan but i was kind of gutted for larson because he had one corner to go he blew the tire blew the right front into the wall he went, the Bowman instantly went by him. He, and, yeah, Bowman practically stole that win. But I'd say the other co other wins, the other three, I'd say he deserves personally. But, yeah. But overall, with this paint scheme, guys, I'm personally giving this paint scheme a solid 9 out of 10. I might be biased on it because I'm an Alex Bowman fan and everything. And I just love the 48 car in general. But I might be biased. But this thing is a beauty. I've seen, I saw this car in real life on track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway when they ran the road course back in September. And this car looked amazing in person. Even though the purple and everything was darker. And in the die cast it's lighter, but... Besides that, it was a very good looking car in person. I'm glad I got to see a race in person. First time seeing the 48 without Jimmy Johnson in it, which was weird. But it was nice seeing that. It was nice being back in a NASCAR race again for the first time since 2019 at the Brickyard 400, where it was Jimmy Johnson's last Brickyard 400, shockingly enough, because he got COVID last year. Well, in the 2020 season, so he missed the Brickyard 400. <sighs> but enough talking about that and let's talk about what well, I was talking about earlier in the video about New Year's so it's this video is coming out on New Year's Eve so this will be the last video of 2021 and the next video after this will be in 2022 obviously and personally, I don't really have a lot of big things happening next year. But the only thing I know is that I'm going to, obviously, IndyCar races and a NASCAR race. I still plan on going to the in plan on going still to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the road course race for the NASCAR Cup Series. Probably will go, might go to the Xfinity Series race. I have no idea that weekend. Um... And with the truck series, they're going to Lucas Oil Raceway. Or now, Lucas Oil RP, IRP um, Raceway or something. Or Speedway. Like Lucas Oil IRP Race. Uh, Lucas Oil IRP Speedway. I think that's the name of it. I have no clue. I forget the whole name of it. But it's Lucas Oil Raceway. It's in, Indianap it's in Brownsburg, I think. Very close to Indianapolis. But I, there's a chance I could go to that. Go to the truck go to my first truck race but it's very very slim i say i would say but i have no clue so there's a chance well for the cup series i'm definitely going to the definitely going to the quote unquote brickyard 200 um <clears throat> for the xfinity series i had there's a chance i could go to the road course race there at ims for them and there's a chance i could be going to the truck race but that's the least likely one that could happen. But besides that, um, on the IndyCar side of things, I'm at least planning on going to six IndyCar races next year, which would be <clears throat> the IM, the Indy GP in May, the Indy 500, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. Mid Ohio, both Iowa races, and the second Indy GP in August. 
So I'll be planning on going to all those races. The ones that I know are for sure <clears throat> are the Indy GP in May, the Indy 500, the Indy GP in August, and <clears throat> more than likely Mid Ohio. But those are at least for the big events that I'll be going to next year. Um, I'm also going to an AJR concert, which is my fa favorite band. Um, I don't know. I'm. Br I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but I am. But that I would go to that concert May 13th, which is the day before the Indy GP in May. So that's gonna suck for me because that's gonna be a long night. Because I'll be driving back that night to go to that race. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a long day that day. But my girlfriend got me tickets to to the concert, and I highly. Highly appreciate that she did. Honey, I love you and everything. Oh, no. oh, blah, blah, blah. That was going to sound weird. But let me restart that. It's like, honey, I love you. Thanks for the tickets. You're probably never going to see this YouTube video. But yeah, thanks, honey, for getting me the tickets. <clears throat> okay, now back to the diecast for the, for the end of the review. So with this diecast, I highly recommend getting it. If you're an Alex Bowman fan, I'd say even a Jimmy Johnson fan, because if you're a Jimmy Johnson fan and you still love the 48 car, I highly recommend getting it, because it's the most beautiful Ally paint scheme that I have, that I think we have seen <coughs> since Ally took over in 2019. Now, say the 2022 paint scheme, it's I like it, but I also don't like it. I think it's going to grow on me, but literally with the 2022 paint scheme it's white and it's white with purple numbers and the purple sponsors and everything it looks i say the hood personally i think the hood looks good basically up until the no, up until the window well up until the middle of the door looks fine but it's all blank in the rear of the car and i do not like that they should add more design to it but who knows it could change it could possibly change before the season starts but Overall, they did an amazing job with the new number placement with play, with putting it forward. At, to me, the perfect amount. They put Ally on the door, on the back half of the door. But do it right of where it currently says do it right, but pushed back slightly. But and that where it says do it right is right above the rear tires. So I personally think they did a great job with the paint scheme for 2022 with the placements and everything. But it's not as good as this paint scheme right here. But back to the diecast, literally, I highly recommend getting this diecast if you're a Bowman fan, even a Jimmy Johnson fan, a Hendrick Motorsports fan, or even just a casual NASCAR fan, because this diecast is a beauty. This paint scheme is beautiful, and I don't know how valuable this is going to be in a few years, but or in the years down the road, but probably not going to be very valuable, but it could be, it possibly could be valuable in the future. I don't know for sure, but... It could be. And like I said, overall, I'd give this paint scheme a solid 9 out of 10. It's a beauty. Ain't perfect, but it's pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this diecast review. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you were new. It'll really help me out. It'll really mean a lot. But anyway, guys, I'll see all you dudes in the next video. And happy new year and happy new year everybody. I'll see y'all in 2022.